How you doing? So I'd like to share this painting with you today because it actually has a lot of personal meaning. I do like to paint rocks, as you know, you see rocks and I'll call them by my work. Um, I like to capture the shadows and the light and the colors and the subtle details and the textures. And they're all different. But what's special about this one is that it's got a heart rock in the center. And my wife has been collecting heart rocks for years. It's not at all unusual for us to go on a hike in the woods or along the beach and come back with a pocket full of heart shaped rocks. Whether they're little tiny ones or big ones, we get some good sized ones that are edges of our garden walls. And my daughter, who now lives in Florida, also started to collect heart rocks. And so has my granddaughter, Maya. Maya is five. Um, her and my wife are birthday twins. My wife, on her 60th birthday, Maya was born and we were there. So was, they call themselves birthday twins. It's a very special bond they have. But my daughter and Maya, my granddaughter, were out a couple weeks ago walking somewhere where these rocks were in Florida. They saw that hard rock, so they brought it home to my granddaughter's bedroom now. And my daughter took a photo of the rock in C2 where it was on the ground there. You can even see the shadow of my daughter's phone right there in the left bottom left corner down there. That's her shadow from her phone. So I thought it was great. The color in this is amazing. The rocks are all bluish, grayish, whitish, with a decent amount of texture, but they're all smooth because they were by the water somewhere. Um, and I let my granddaughter name the painting. So she called it the Hardy, H-E-A-R-T-Y, the Hardy painting. Uh, and she also, my granddaughter is five going on 75 in terms of wisdom, she's a smart little kid, said, this should be the first one in the heart series of rocks or other heart shaped things. So this is the first one in the heart shaped series. Um, it's very detailed. It's got a ton of texture and shadows um, that make these rocks really pop in person. It's hard to see it here, obviously. But if you collect heart rocks and you'd like a painting of your heart rocks, let me know. I paint things that make me happy. This one made me really happy because my daughter thought it would make a good painting. My granddaughter thought it would make a good painting, and I love the name that she came up with. How could you go wrong calling it The Hardy? So if you'd like The Hardy, let me know. It's available. Prints of it are available. This would look really good printed on metal. So you can get satin metal print. The colors are embossed right into the aluminum. Impervious to moisture. You can put it on a porch. You can have it in the bathroom. Um, and you know, this is a 12 by 16 painting, but it will print bigger. So if you want a big zen-like rock painting or something similar, this is the one. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you soon.